Let's take new exercise in SOLIDWORKS. Create a glass with inbuilt straw. See, this is a kind of wine glass and uh, we will make it with inbuilt straw. Okay, so here you will see we have two view. This is the top view and uh, uh, no, this is bottom view and this is the uh, front view. So first we will create this uh, straw, then we will create this side. Uh, in front view 250 millimeter 70 angle and there is a red color these radius is not defined so we will use fit spline command and create this one so this much uh, distance we will keep as a construction line and we will see how we can achieve this one 30 millimeter okay in front plane but in top plane you have to create this structure we have to start from here 30 millimeter we will keep this one as a construction then here you will see 30 millimeter the, here little straight then uh, this radius 30 millimeter and this all radius 65 millimeter how we can uh, we will see similarly there is a heighted see these radius diameter uh, radius is not given at this corner 20 up to 20 millimeter but total length 125 and if you subtract this upper distance so remaining 55 let's try this one diameter 12 front plane sketch activate line tool center line let's draw make one line two line make this upper line real line smart dimension 70 millimeter now distance 250 millimeter okay now distance this line 30 millimeter this is what given in red color because we don't know uh, what is radius is going to be here exit choose top plane sketch now activate here center line and draw one center line something like this okay make this radius 65 okay <clears throat> now i am going to use here center point arc start this center point let's click here and draw something like this circle right click select and exit now here create three point arc connect this now make this one make this point tangent oh this is disappear uncheck make it this construction now select these two cordial okay let's make this radius first okay 60 now select this construction line select both end point now this circumference 30 millimeter fine okay let me connect with three point arc connect with this to this right click select now select this point tangent point is not given so we will keep tangent 30 millimeter look it seems fully defined sketch exit check isometric view see now let me activate 3d structure because this is a kind of 3d structure we are going to use at a time for swift boss base feature now I am going to activate line and start from this line vertical create two line keep upper line solid and bottom line construction line because here we need to create uh, one arc or you can say fillet 20 is given now this line from here to here 
it's a 125 minus 70 55 look now go to tools and here see spline tool fit spline okay uncheck close spline this one keep check now I'm going to select first line okay now select line this one see by default a radius is created here 26 this is now the third line I'm going to okay third line select this one then fourth one this one see by default one arc is created say okay okay now simply go to swift boss base here choose profile diameter 12 say okay now you can simply select and hide the sketch now select this top face sketch convert entity and extrude extrude how much 70 millimeter you will see distance 70 millimeter angle 70 divided by 2 it's going to be 35 one side okay corner fillet 0.5 and the wall thickness 1.5 okay angle here make 35 outward draft now you will see the preview say okay and let me define the corner radius fillet now here I'm going to choose face fillet 30 millimeter select one face fillet second delete this in second column select this second face and these fillets are perfectly defined say ok shell now thickness 1.5 show preview say ok and the last fillet is 0 0.5 constant type fillet symmetric radius 0 0.5 and this time I am going to select this surface choose face ok now let me go to appearance glass see glow types of thick glass double click see here it's created a glass with inbuilt straw don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching